time of football, beer, and parties. And what the fuck is a party without sandwiches? It's just a bunch of fucking people at your house. So here is my version of the Super Bowl sandwich. Okay, to start off these here Super Bowl sandwiches, what you want to do is you want to get about a cup of mayonnaise into a bowl. You don't really have to measure much out with this. And then you want to get, oh, about two tablespoons of yellow mustard. Just any old yellow mustard will do. And uh, then all you want to do is just mix this mustard aise up until it has a light yellow color. You can kind of play with this as much as you want. But my personal recipe is about a cup of mayo and a couple of tablespoons of old mustard. And if you need to add a little bit more mustard, you go right ahead. Feel free to adjust the type of mustard you use. Feel free to adjust, hell, the type of mayonnaise or the amounts. So this is just a real basic sandwich sauce. I'm going to whip up these here sandwiches. And then after that, you want to just pop it in the fridge for about, oh, 30 minutes. Give you enough time to do the rest of the sandwich stuff. And always make sure you give a little taste test to make sure it's exactly where you need it to be. Okay, next thing you want to do is preheat the oven to about 400 to 450 degrees. And you want to get yourself from your local grocery store a couple of these mini submarine sandwich rolls or sub sandwich rolls. If you can't find them, you could certainly use Italian bread, French bread, French baguette, uh, teller roll rolls, club rolls, just any old type of long uh, bread. Uh, I personally don't like using Italian bread for this due to the fact that it's usually really, really wide. But if you prefer that, go right ahead. Um... So I would, if I couldn't find these, I would more go with a French baguette, but that's just me. Now, as I've already stated, get that oven up to 400 degrees at the very, very least. You can go up to 450, but I think that tends to burn things a little bit. But if you like that with your sandwich, you go right ahead. Then, you want to add on one side of this here sandwich, oh, about three, four slices of good old Virginia ham. There's nothing special about the ham, just good old-fashioned Virginia ham. Uh, personally, you can use whatever ham you like. I would stay away from pit ham, though, because of the fat content. The only time I've ever had pit ham and I've liked it is um, when I've fried it up, just due to the fact that it renders the fat off. So I don't... Um, tend to recommend it. Oh, and I do apologize. This is not actually uh, the ham. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is actually mesquite smoked turkey. Mesquite smoked turkey. You can use whatever turkey you like, but, uh, well, at least you know the other ingredient that's coming. We will be having some ham on the other side of this. That's Dave's cooking show for you. The height of professionalism in all things. Can't even tell what I'm goddamn putting on my own sandwich. Okay, now we're getting the ham on there. It's good old-fashioned, as I stated. Just regular regular Virginia ham. You can use honey ham or, or any ham you like. Like I said, just stay away from pit ham unless you're going to fry it up. And if you want to fry it up, then by all means, get some pit ham. So about, you know, three slices of this. Um, good little portion. Then you want to grab some extra sharp cheddar for the ham. The reason you want to put the cheddar on the ham instead of the turkey is, is ham goes, well, cheddar goes well with ham. The, the, the bite of sharp cheddar goes really well with ham. And uh, if I didn't mention it before, that is pepper jack cheese on top of the turkey. And then uh, last but not least, you want to make sure to pepper at least one of these sides with freshly ground black pepper and then pop them in the oven. Okie dokie, through the miracle of cooking show magic, this sandwich is done. You want to take the side that has the turkey and the pepper jack and place that on a plate. Then add some iceberg lettuce. It's just a nice, neat little crunch that you have with your sandwich. It doesn't have much flavor, and that's what we're kind of going for. Then three slices of beef steak tomato go on top of that. Then we add some buttered 
sweet onions, buttered fried sweet onions. And though how you do this is simply slice a Vidalia onion, put it in a saucepan, about two tablespoons of butter, and a little bit of pepper, and that's that. I felt it was so simple I didn't even need to show this step. Then you want to grab the top of the sandwich and place that on the top. And that's it. Oh, I did forget one simple little thing. Remember that mustard naze we made up? Well, you want to take and put a generous amount on the sandwich. About this much. I personally like a lot of mayo on my sandwiches, so there you go. And then uh, take the top part of the sandwich and place it on top, and you'll be done. And that is my Super Bowl sandwich. Look at that. And that's the Super Bowl sandwich. You know, the game might not go so smooth or the way you exactly want it to go, but I guarantee you this sandwich will make everything feel all right.